Traditional cleansing rituals mark the official renaming ceremony. Koi leaders say the rituals are aimed at acknowledging the ancestors and to expel bad energy. Today, it's also a celebration of Kratoa, the Koi girl who became a key figure at the Cape as translator between her people and the Dutch. Kratoa is not only significant to the so-called colored people, the brown people, the Koi and the Bushman people. She's also significant to the white people. She was married, married, she was married to, the, to a white man. And two of the former South African presidents, historical figures, Paul Kruger and F.W. de Klerk, they were descendants from Kratua. So it's actually significant, like I say, that the exhibition is here to acknowledge Kratua's descendants. They are Khoi people, but they are also white people. The building was formerly known as the R. W. Wilcox Building, named after a former rector. The renaming to Kratoa was approved by the university's executive committee of council in August last year. The story of Kratoa allows us to re-add a piece uh, of uh, the university's puzzle, an uh, incomplete puzzle story that through the puzzle pieces added one by one, re-added I suppose one by one, this uh, picture of the puzzle becomes more complete. The story of South Africa and the story of the regions. Uh, the Kohokwa people have indicated that indeed in our negotiations around the story uh, that uh, we will be allowed to further engage around how uh, the language, the Kukukwap language, uh, can be reflected on in the experience of this university and that of course within the multilingual environment that we foster and would like to create even more at the university allows for a perfect opportunity also to celebrate Kertoa as a translator, as a language maker and as a mother of our identities. Kritoa became known as the first indigenous Southern African to be baptized as a Christian and the first to marry a white man, Peter van Meerhoff. She was a life giver to the Afrikaans community and she was an interpreter. She was that bridge between the Khoi and the Afrikaans people. It means that you can shine if you embrace your own cultural heritage. The event was marked by the opening of an exhibition at the University Museum and a dance and poetry collaboration between dancers from OKIP and Australia. So look, this is a, a collaboration that the, that the Australian High Commission has supported uh, and, it's, and it reflects the, uh, the shared experiences of First Nations people and their connection to culture and land, both in Australia and here in South Africa. And that's something that matters to us and it's why we've supported uh, bringing the Australian dancers over here to join South Africa's uh, Garage Dance Ensemble. Kritoa died on Robben Island at the age of 35. It's hoped that the exhibition and renaming will help in acknowledging her part in the history of the Cape and country. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Stellenbosch.